Hi YouTube fans, it's David here from DP Computing. Uh, today we've got a nice bright red, even though it looks pink on the screen, it's a bright red HP 11 11 inch X360 laptop. I'm just going to do a basic teardown of it to show you how to get inside of it. Um, a word of warning before we proceed, follow these steps at your own risk. If anything you see is different at your end, please consult a professional. Also, please take anti-static precautions and I'm wearing a wrist strap, anti-static wrist strap. Now what we have to do, this is the underside of the unit. We have to re, um, remove 11 screws. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's two um, here under each of these two grommets. So there's another two there. So there's 11 screws we have to remove. So I'll just start by going through them. Um, as you'll see when we go along, there's two types of screws. There's 11 shorter screws and four of the longer screws, which are by um, two there and two there, which are by the hinges. Uh, while I'm doing this unscrewing, if you wanna check out our YouTube channel where we've got a few um, other teardowns of various makes of laptops. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments field below. And lastly, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, I just have to tip this up to get some of these out. There's always one that's a pain. One just fell on the floor. Now those seven are all of a shorter type screw. Now the four here are slightly longer. I'll just remove the first one and show you. So just take note of where the longer ones go. And there's four of the longer ones and seven of the shorter ones. So that's the shorter one and that's the longer one there. Okay, and the longer ones as I said go via the hin where the hinges are. Now have to remove these rubber grommets or rubber feet. Just get something flat underneath and they should just pop up. And there's, as you can see, there's another two screws underneath. So once we've removed all the screws, what we'll have to do is prise along the edges and I've just got a little um, plastic grommet type thing. I've got a couple of them. Um, start, I suppose, near the power button, which is on this side. So you can s And then you'll slowly, you'll hear it. Um, there's some clips that are holding it in and they'll start to oops, sort of disengage. Now, I didn't quite get it. Now, you can use a um, flathead screwdriver for this if you want, but you just have to watch that you don't damage, because it's all plastic. You don't damage the plastic. If I can get it in the camera there. So. Uh, where's my other one? Just there. So once you're happy that it's all off, which 
can be a pain sometimes. There goes the phone in the background. Ah, it's just caught somewhere here. Just watch this side with the HDMI as well. You may have to slightly flex it to get around the um, adapter there. So that's that side off. And there we go. Now, um, you just, you probably can't see it, but there's a little um, cable. You have to pull up the little lock bar, a ribbon cable, and then pull the, I'll just show it to you. There, there's that little cable. So that attaches to that connector there. You just have to pull up the little lock bar. There's a black lock bar, and then pull the cable out. Now there we can see the inside. We've got the hard drive, battery, um, CPU fan, heat sink to the heat sink. CPU, the memory, the Wi-Fi module, and the battery, the BIOS battery. So, start off with the memory. There's two little black things, just pull them outwards, the memory will pop up, which you can then pull out. And you can just reverse what you did to put it back in. Got the battery here, that's held in by another couple of screws. So there's two screws there, and there's probably a flat one, no? Ah, another one here. So there we go, and one here. So remove all those screws. And then the battery. There's another cable just there, a blue and white one. And the battery's just plugged in there. So you can pull out that connector and there's the battery. Um, see if we can see that. No, it's just a lithium ion battery. It's a 7.2 volt, 29 watt. And I'm just trying to see, I think the part number is 751875-001. So I'll just put that to one side. Got the hard drive here. That's held in by another couple of small screws. So these are very small screws to hold in the hard drive there. And we just have to prise away one little cable to get to the other screw. And another one here. So the hard drive's held in, as you can see, by a connector there. So we then, I won't actually bother with this one, but you have to actually remove all the foil there to get to the connector and then remove the connector. Or we can just remove here and pull the connector out there. I'll just leave it so it'll be a bit quicker. And then we've got the Wi-Fi module here, which is just held in by two screws there. And as I said, the um, BIOS battery, which is down here, which is held in there. So there we are. There's a very quick um, teardown of the HP Pavilion 11-inch X360. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I'll attempt to answer them the best I can. So just put them below. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.